it's your girl Letitia Marie and I am back with a new video for you guys. Today's video is going to be for the Dollar Tree. Um, I went into the Dollar Tree and I have a lot of favorites that I love inside the Dollar Tree. So I wanted to show you guys the things that I got that are my favorites from the Dollar Tree. If you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell. So you'll be notified of all the videos that I have coming up. So let's get into this haul so I can show you all the goodies that they have at Dollar Tree that you guys may not have seen. So this first one is, I opened it already because I had to re-record. Re so this one is these little storage bags. I have a lot of clothes and blankets and towels that I really don't want to throw away and stuff because some of them are still new. Um, and I also did a Target haul a way back and I'll link it to this video. But there was some clothes that was on clearance for Zoe's size and they were like a dollar. Zoe is my daughter if you're new to my channel. She's only five years old. But they had a massive sale at Target. The one cute couponer was saying that there was a sale on kids' clothes, and I ended up going over there to the dollar store. No, to the dollar store. To the Target. <laughs> and it was like the dollar store because the items were, it was pajama sets and robes for $1.75 for the sets. And it was JoJo Siwa, Paw Patrol. It was like um, LOLs. It was all the cartoon characters you could think of. And they were only running for $1.75 for the whole set of the pajama sets. Some of them I got, they were three-piece sets. The shorts and the pants and the shirt for $1.75. So needless to say, because of the price, I ended up getting it in all different sizes. My daughter wears a size extra small. And I got them all the way up to the extra large. And I have a lot of clothes that she cannot fit right now. She probably won't fit until she's like 10 or 12 years old. But that's what these bags are for i put all her clothes that are way too big for her that she'll not be able be able to wear right now i got tongue twisted right there but that she doesn't even wear right now i put them in these bags right here because these bags are a lifesaver if you go to the regular stores you're gonna pay about five or six dollars just for one of these bags you get them at the dollar store and you'll get dollar king and it's a dollar just a dollar a dollar for this large bag the bag is this long and i would say what you do is you put your item in the inside you seal this off and squeeze it really tight then you're gonna keep this on here because what i noticed is when i took this off the bag started flating back up inside my closet I'm thinking that they're all squished down and everything. When I came in the closet, they were like swelled up and squishing each other and stuff. So if you keep this on here, it's going to keep the air in because this blocks the little release, I guess it is right here to where you can kind of hear the air coming out. So I keep that on there. So how you get them to go flat is you take this off right here. And you're going to put the vacuum right here and just suck all the air out and then put this cap back on there. And it's going to make the bags like, you wouldn't believe how flat it gets in. Depending on how much stuff you have in the bag, it can make it as flat as like right here. Like this flat. So for a dollar, I would say this is, this is something you have to have in your Dollar Tree haul. The next thing in the Dollar Tree haul is those magic erasers. Kids are always writing on the walls. They're always writing on your desk. So with having a toddler in the house, you have to have magic erasers. These are the generic brands from Dollar Tree, and they come, they're called Scrubbies and Scrub Buddies, I mean. And they come with three in a pack versus one in a pack of the, I can't even think of the name right now. Well, the Magic, er Magic Erasers by Mr. Clean. And they only come with like one in a pack when you go to Walmart and you're paying about $3.99 for one in a pack versus a dollar for three and they work the same. 
So I got at a dollar store and I stock up on these. Lately, I haven't been able to catch them. And it's been probably like seven months I haven't been able to find these at the Dollar Tree. So if you guys find these, make sure you grab them and make sure that <laughs> you stock up because you may not see none in the dollar store for a while. I also picked up these microfiber cloths because these work really good as far as like when you're washing your dishes and you don't want to just leave them sitting on the counter to let them dry because they get the little spots on it and stuff. These work really good as far as drying them very fast and they absorb a lot of water. And they're only a buck for four little microfiber cloths. The next thing in this haul is gonna be, let me see what I got, is these cloths. I use these, these are really good to absorb um, the water because these absorb water, but these soak up a lot of water. And they only come with two in a pack and they're both microfiber, but these are the multi-purpose ones that you can use for cleaning all around the house. So you definitely need these two. And they're only a dollar for two. I also, going with the Scrubbies brand, I also love these. These Scrubby brand is like those little SOS pads. I actually bought some of the SOS pads and I do not like the SOS pads because for some reason they don't scratch, is they don't scrub everything out of the pan as well with one. You have to end up using more than one to finish that one pan versus with these, it wipes it out right away. So all you do is just wet the, the SOS little sponge well, this is not SOS, this is Scrubbies. So you just wet it and it has the soap all over it. So all you do is just wet it and just scrub your pans out. I use this to scrub my stoves. I use it to scrub like the sink area when it gets that scum thing on there. I use it pretty much anywhere that anything gets stuck on there and I can't get it off. I'll use these. And it comes with 10 in a pack. I believe it's about the same in the um, SOS container too. But these are only a dollar. The SOS ones are probably like... $3.99, $4.99 a pack. I also picked up, so I picked up two of those. And I also picked up, they're starting to skim on the scrubbies. So if you can find them in the three pack, these ones for the Mr. Clean Magic Erasers, make sure you try to find the ones that have three in a pack because now they're starting to skim and putting them only two in a pack. So, they still work good, but if you could get three, try to get the three. I also picked up a little planner. This is so cute. It just says, live inspired, and it's just super cute. I love rose gold and pink, and I just thought this was a cute little, it's not a planner. It's just like a little notepad to write all my little notes that I want to jot down. And they also have these, never sleep on these, especially if you have an air fryer. If you don't want the oil to be leaking to the bottom of the air fryer so much, make sure you get a little bit of parchment paper and lay those greasy um, vegan balls or vegan sausages or whatever type of meat or whatever you put inside your air fryer so you don't have to do all that cleanup. Put a little bit of this um, little parchment paper at the bottom of the air fryer and cook it on top of the parchment paper. That way when you're finished, all you have to do is pull out the parchment paper and you don't have to do all that wiping out. You don't have to scrub the air fryer. It'll be clean still. You just have to wipe it and it'll be done. The next thing I have in this haul is, this was another cloth. I already actually opened this one. Still another microfiber cloth, but it was gray. The next thing in this haul is I did pick up these batteries and I forgot that I picked these up because I told myself I was not going to get any more batteries from the dollar store but I guess I'll use these up since I have them because the last video that I saw on the 99 cents haul they said these batteries the 99 cents batteries they explode so hopefully these don't explode I don't want to just throw the batteries away, so I'll use those and then I'll stop buying them because I just bought a whole bunch of batteries from Costco that are Duracell. So the next thing that I love in this haul 
is these little lights right here. I have them under all of my cabinets inside the kitchen. It's really nice. It looks really pretty at nighttime when the lights are off in there and my cabinets are brown, but the the walls and everything are white. So when it lights up in there, it just looks so pretty in there with the lights on. With an, It's like a little night light under the, under the cabinets. I also stick these in my closet. I also stick them inside the pantry that I that I just bought. It's really like a closet from Ikea, but I just made it into a pantry. But I stick these inside of there so I can find the food if I don't feel like turning on the light. So those are a dollar and these are a must have from the Dollar Tree. Lately, I haven't seen too many of them. So if you do see these little lights, pick them up. I also picked up this little craft pin for my Cricut machine. I haven't got into using my Cricut machine, but I will try to do a demonstration on it when I do start learning how to use it. <laughs> but for this little craft marker, I seen the ones for the Cricut machine like $7. So I went ahead and picked up this one for only a dollar from Dollar Tree. I also picked up, Zoe loves these little ramen noodles. So the only ones I get is the ones that has the no added MSG. So I picked these up for those nights when you just don't feel like making a big meal. And she loves these anyway, so I'll just throw this in the pan and let Zoe have a little bowl of top ramen for dinner. I don't do it that often, but when I just don't feel like cooking anything, I'll pull that out. So the next thing that I picked up that was super cute... And this is a little magnet that I could stick on my refrigerator so I could do refrigerator. That, I always say refrigerator. <laughs> That's that slang in me. But I like the magnets because it just makes it easier to jot down something that I need for the kitchen if I need some more certain, like some strawberries or, or whatever I need for the kitchen. I could jot it down on here and then transfer it to my phone before I leave to go pick it up. And I love this one because diamonds are a girl's best friend and it has diamonds on it and it's my zodiac sign. Well, not my zodiac sign, but it's like, what do you call it? But it's my little jewel for my birthday month. So my birthday is today, Aries, April 9th. So you, and what it says is you totally got this because I've got this. I'm a single mom and I'm doing it. So I got this for $1. The next thing in this haul I picked up is, and this is going to be the last thing in this haul, is these always pads. And I don't know why I picked up these always pads because I saved this for the last because it's a little TMI. So if you're new to my channel and you are a guy and you don't want to hear about menstruation, periods, <laughs> then you might as well just sign off right now. Don't forget to hit that bell, like and subscribe before you sign off. But anyway, I'm going to get into this. It has nothing to do with this haul, but I have to let all the women know about this because these are called Flex Cups. I'm not sponsored, but I love, I just tried these Flex Cups and they are amazing. I was very, very heavy with my period and I went ahead and tried these Flex Cups because you know CBS has this deal where if you pay $5 for the month to get in the rewards, you'll get sent a coupon for $10. These Flex Cups are like... $16, they're $15.99, they come up to $16. So with the $10 that you're gonna get from CVS from your coupon, you can only pay like $5 for these Flex Cups. So I'm gonna open it up and show you guys. So basically it looks like a huge condom. So what you do is you stick the inside right here down. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it like this, squeeze it, to where it goes like this. And then you're gonna put it into you. You're gonna 
pretty much is I do it like this. I just hold it like this, squeeze, and then I push it into my hoo-ha. <laughs> or whatever name you guys got for your jewelry box. You just stick it into your hoo-ha like this, and you push it deep up in there until it lays flat. It's going to collapse open, and it's going to lay flat like this inside your hoo-ha. So, like I said, I was very, very heavy and cramping that day. And after trying this, I, would, I had it on for... Oh, actually, these cups last you for 12 hours. So, you don't have to bring tampons, pads, or anything with you for the whole day because these cups are reusable. I believe they are reusable, but they're pretty thick. So if, God forbid, you didn't bring anything with you and you were really full and had this, this cup so full, you could just dump it into the toilet and rinse it out and reuse it again because it's not going to be nasty. It's going to be rinsed out and it's going to be clean after you rinse it out in the sink. But it's so sturdy and thick that you probably can use it two times. I'm not sure. I'm not suggesting that, but it's pretty good. Like it, it definitely will hold it in there. So I got to tell you what happened after four hours of using it. I went to use the bathroom and wiped. You would not believe there was nothing on the tissue and I'm heavy, clotting heavy. And there was nothing on the tissue and I had it on for four hours. So <laughs> needless to say, I wanted to try it out because I was like, maybe my period slowed down from using these. So the next day I put a pad on and it just made me want to take it off after an hour because I was still heavy and clotting and it was just disgusting to me that it was that nasty pad was sitting on me and it was wet. The always ones are good. I do got to say that you don't feel it but you kind of do and I would say versus the flex and you don't feel nothing at all because everything is still inside of you versus having a wet nasty period pad sitting on your hoo-ha all day and you have to keep changing them out all day I think I would stick to the flex and you could wear it for 12 hours so, I'm not telling you guys to go out there and get the flex, but you will love it. You will love it if you try it. And you will never go back to a pad. You will never go back to a tampon again. And you do not have to carry pads or tampons anymore. I am in love with this flex cup. So, if you haven't tried it, go out there and try it. And make sure that you guys leave a comment below and let me know how you guys felt about the Flex Cup. I will be doing a review on the Flex Cup because I love it that much. I know this 99 cent store haul turned into a Flex Cup at the end. But I just had to let you guys know about that because I'm in love with this little cup. And it's for your period. It is the bomb. Make sure you guys go out there and check it out. If you're new to my channel please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell so you'll be notified of all my new videos and i will be coming back with another video for the flex cup to let you guys know everything that i just explained in this haul and then some so let me know if you do try the flex cup please 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 let me know in the comments how you guys felt about it because i want to be a sponsor <laughs> I want to be a sponsor for the cup because I love it now. I can't believe how amazing this cup felt. You don't feel anything in you. You don't even feel it in you. And you feel like you're like not even on your period. It's amazing. Go out there and check it out. If you're new to my channel, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. And I am out. I love you guys. Deuces. And I'm out.